it's always an uphill ba battle for us. And now here we are in the driver's seat. A group of elders from Ganawage, south of Montreal, known as the Mohawk Mothers, were successful in getting a Quebec judge to stop excavation work at an expansion project here at Montreal's Allen Memorial Institute and the old Royal Victoria Hospital. The group has alleged that the bodies of Indigenous patients of the Institute from the 1950s and 60s are buried at the site scheduled to be redeveloped. It makes me sad to know what happened to them. The Inuit children that were brought here from all over and experimented on some pretty gross experiments. The Mohawk mothers represented themselves in court after filing the request for the injunction in March. It was granted October 27th. During the two-day hearings, lawyers representing McGill and the Société Québécoise des Infrastructures argued that there was no evidence of unmarked graves at the site. But Superior Court Justice Gregory Moore ruled allowing the planned work to go ahead without taking the time to develop a proper archaeological plan would cause irreparable harm to the Mohawk plaintiffs. We're not after money. No, we're after justice. And sometimes, and this is one of the times, we actually got some justice. The judge said the identification of unmarked Indigenous graves is a priority for discovering the truth and working toward reconciliation. Everybody has a duty uh, to protect di biodiversity and we were all doing it, trying to do it. Now we have an order that says that that we're all going to do it. The Société Québécoise des Infrastructures responsible for the revitalization of the site tells City News in a statement, the SQI reiterates that as part of its mission to support public bodies in the management of their infrastructure projects and since the beginning of the project to requalify the site of the former Royal Victoria Hospital, it has been engaged in a process of exchange with the First Nations and it intends to continue on this path. This will probably help a lot of people, not just here, but maybe all over the world to find peace. Because so many of our, of our people or other people are going through the same thing where the corporations come first and the developers come first and uh, we are, you know, an afterthought. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.